Hey guys, what's up? This is me, Ramin Ali, and today we're gonna study punctuation. What is punctuation? What is the purpose of using punctuation? How we're gonna use it, and all that. We're gonna study right in this video. So, you must be familiar with what punctuation is, but let, let me tell you more clearly today in this video. What is punctuation? We use punctuation in our daily life while writing and that's very important to use punctuation very clearly. So you need to be focused while using punctuation and some of us make mistakes as well. But it's okay and it's not the time to resolve your problem. Now you have the solution. So we'll be discussing what punctuation is and the different punctuations assigned. And I'll be using, I'll be telling you all of these with examples by using these in the sentences. So let's start. Punctuation is a tool that allows us to organize our thoughts and make it easier to review and hear our ideas. Now, what is punctuation? This is a tool. Okay, fine. What it? What is the purpose of using it? What? What? Like in what ways it's helpful? So it it allow us to organize our thoughts. Like we can share our thoughts. We can share what's going on in our mind. It's easy for us to explain your ideas, to share your thoughts and your ideas, to organize them while using punctuation. All right. So let's discuss it even more deeply. As the first one is. Come on. This is how it looks like. And why what is the purpose of using and what are they? So commas are sp primarily used to aid in clarity and to join two independent clauses with a conduction, okay? So when we have to join two, two independent clauses with a conduction we're gonna we can use the set of introductory phrases and set of series. They also are used to separate independent and dependent clauses. The Oxford comma is the inclusion of a comma before coordinating conjunction in a series. For example, I enjoy the singers and I loved the dancers. Now, here if I write an example. So I loved the singers and I loved the dancers. Or you can say that I enjoyed the singers and I loved the dancers. So here you can see that how I used a comma, right? So these are two clauses, right? I separated them or I joined them together. There were two. Like I loved the dancers as well. I enjoyed the singers as well. So I joined both clauses, right? So I used comma. Second one is apostrophe. This is how it looks like and how we're gonna use it. So other examples of using comma is that it can also be used to note an introduction in a sentence. And um, like for example, I had eggs, toast, and orange juices. Now we have a variety of things. We are separating them, right? So I have eggs, comma, toast, comma and orange juice another example can be like so at the beginning of the performance coma to dances to dancers appeared from behind the curtain so second one apostrophe this is how it looks like and they are used to mark position and to mark contractions okay they're used to denote a quotation mark in material that is already being coated right like it was James car that drunk driver hit or James said coma if you come any closer I'll call the police and this is like here we are using quotation as well coma as well as well as the apostrophe so this is the sign of apostrophe and they are used to denote a question or quotation mark in material that is already being coded. They're also used to mark positions and to contractions. Like, you know, most of the time we use contractions like don't. We 
use the apostrophe over here as you can see right so this is how we normally use apostrophe third one is quotation now what is quotation as you can see over here these are quotation marks quotation marks are used to inform a reader either of something that was spoken or something that is being directly copied from another work Quotes should also be placed around a word if it is used in a specific context as bear special attention. Like in informal applications, quotations can also be used to denote something that is ironic. Example, Lida said, is this my prom dress? Or Dr. James comes. The use of violence against women in India is one of the rights, right? So two different sentences that Lila said, comma, is this my prom dress? Now, when she said that, is this my prom dress? Is this my prom dress? Any name that will be like, for example, Ali said, like, Amna said, is this my prom dress? So this is how we're gonna use quotation marks. Next is hyphen, this. All right, they look same, but they are actually not the same, hyphen and dash. So hyphen. Hyphens are most commonly used to pair compound words. If you have to word pair compound words, you're, you're going to use hyphens. So like clearly, like if we are pairing compounds, compound words, we are using hyphens preferably. For example, throw away, high speed taste, merry go round, user friendly. You can write user. User friendly, I used hyphen, or I could use throw away. See here, I used hyphen as well. So, this is how we're gonna use hyphen and like to just pair the compound words. Next, now dash. Dash is like this. As I told you, they look similar, but they are not. Dashes are generally not in common use, but denote a thing with a thought. For example, I think my dog is genius, but doesn't everybody think their pet is? Like the dashes can either connect to surrounding words or be separated by a space. It is an issue of style. Be sure to ask your professor if they have a preference. Next is colon. Colon, you can see the side like two dots. They are actually called colons. Colons make the statement note what follows. Whatever information that follows the colon must in some way explain, prove, or describe whatever came before it. it, it. To properly employ a colon, ensure that the clause that follows the make is able to stand on its own. Whatever comes before the colon must be complete sentence. Your writing after the colon is not required to be. For example, the bridge keeper asked me three questions, colon. What is your name? What is your crust? And what is your favorite color? Understood? This is how we're gonna use the colon. So I'm gonna repeat the examples again. The bridge keeper asked me three questions, colon. What is your name, comma, what is your crest, comma, what is your favorite color? Next is question and exclamation. We know about question and exclamation very common. This is the sign of question and this is the sign of exclamation. Question and exclamation marks are used to note interrogative and exclamative sentences. Interrogative for questions and exclamatory for exclamation. Neither of these punctuation marks are commonly used in academic writing. In general, a writer should not be shouting at the reader in formal writing. The lack of conversation makes any question rhetorical and re revising the question in the statement would be the better course. Next is bracket. Now, 
viola it's sometimes you get confused about the brackets right so actually brackets are in phase one not these one well, like this one okay so this is the bracket this is the parenthesis and this is the braces so first of all as i have written bracket like these are kind of a square type from their edges right and they have sharp edges by the way brackets are most commonly employed in academic writing with a quotation where the writer is omitting or explaining something in either case the writer places a bracket within the quote closes to bracket to continue the quote then parenthesis parenthesis notes non-essential information that could be skipped without altering the meaning of a sentence like you know we sometimes use brackets while writing and braces braces are this curly type okay we often call them curly brackets but actually they are braces okay? so they are a bit like you so they are a bit curled as you can see braces are used quite rarely and are employed to essentially make it a list when listed now if we want to talk about the parenthesis you could there would be a, for example Cora, the woman who lives down the street from Jane, work as a paralegal. Now, see, the information was non-essential, like, it's not, it can be skipped, right? So, Cora, the woman who lives down the street from Jane's, from Jane. Now, the woman who lives, uh, who lives down the street from Jane is written in the brackets, work as a paralegal example of bracket is like professor brown claims she the noble's central character now this would be in the parent uh, bracket the noble central character is in the bracket is an example of a strong african-american woman example of braces is like before i go on vacation i need to pack my bags now in in braces the uh, clothes toiletries and shoes unplug the tv and close all the window or and close all of the windows so clothes toiletries and shoes would be in the braces next one is semicolon as we discussed colon over here the semicolon and colon are kind of same but not semicolon is like here we have two dots but here we have a dot and comma like to just remember okay and you can see the sign of semicolon as well a semicolon can be used to join two related main causes for example james left a mess at his desk after he left work semicolon sarah had to clean it up now see we joined two related main clauses that james left mess at his desk after he left work now semicolon sarah had to clean it up okay this makes sense so they are both related we joined two related main clauses all right so this is how we're gonna use semicolon and but not least ellipsis ellipsis may mark the omission of a word or words if the omission includes the end of a sentence or a glyph has four dots instead of three so if the mission includes the end of a sentence, the glyph has four dots instead of three, okay? So yeah, this is about ellipses. It marks the mission of a word of words. So this was all about today's video. We studied punctuation. I hope you understand. So I hope you like the video. Give it a big thumbs up. If you're new on my channel, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll get the notifications timely. Meet you in the next video. Stay home, stay safe, take care, bye-bye.